Hello everyone, I apologize in advance for how crusty I look in this video, but um, today I'm going to be doing the musical tag. So I was, you know, scrolling through YouTube as you do, and I saw that um, Georgie Ashford uh, posted a musical theater tag video. I saw the thumbnail and immediately Googled it so that I could get the questions, and I'm going to link her video in the description, as well as the article I got this um, list of questions from. So, without any further ado, let's get right into it. Never mind, there's more ado. Um, I am filming this with my phone on my laptop because, like, my phone is sitting on my laptop because I am not a true YouTuber and I don't have a camera because I'm broke. So, it's on my laptop, but also, like, my actual laptop has the questions on it. So if you see me just, like, reach forward, it's because I'm scrolling down, okay? Okay, so, question number one. Plays or musicals? Definitely musicals. I, like there are some plays that I really like, like I, spent, I really like Shakespeare, just like fun fact, but I don't know. I just find musicals are more interesting and I really like performing and having like all three triple threat things going on at once. And I find that it's just more interesting to watch a musical, if that makes sense. So question two, when did you start liking the performing arts? I don't remember not liking performing arts because I started dancing when I was two, but my first memory isn't until well after that, like a couple years later. So I literally can't remember a time where I wasn't interested in performing arts, which I think is really cool. Question three, ever been in a musical? Yes, um, I did multiple original shows with like a local, not a community theater, more like um, like a musical theater class. So when I was like nine or 10, and I, I did a an original, which mm, Loki kind of sucked with my middle school. Like we all wrote scenes, so it wasn't very cohesive. One girl wrote a series of scenes and it was like a storyline and I really liked that. But like, otherwise it was really uncohesive. It was not great. But I was recently in like my first real musical that was, never mind, I lied. I was in the Granny Awards when I was like 10 with that outside of school like class thing and those that that was fun um it's a really small show like i don't think it's ever been on any real stage it's kind of i believe it's just written for like younger students to use but it's basically like the grammy awards except it's like a grandmother giving awards to fairy tale characters and i played the prince and the big bad wolf which was really fun because i don't know it was fun playing a dude um <laughs> and then after that was the original through my middle school. And then after that, last summer I did Rock the School, which is a show written by um, a local woman in my area. Oh my God, this answer is all over the place. So I'm just going to summarize this really quickly. I was in originals, musicals that we wrote like on the spot on like chart paper. And then I was in the Granny Awards and then an original that each student wrote some scenes at middle school and then Rock the School. Okay, and that was in a summer thing. And now I actually just went to the first class sort of thing of kind of a theater company that is going to be produ producing Chicago. At the end of January. What was the first musical you saw on Broadway? By the way, that's question four. Um, I haven't seen anything on Broadway because I've never been to New York City and I am depressed about that. But I can tell you the first show I ever saw, like, in a theater, like, not a community theater, like a big theater. Like, I'm not going to tell you what the theater in my area is called because that's kind of sketchy. Because, like, then you would know what city I live in. Although I feel like you could have figured that out by now, but whatever. And also, everyone who watches these videos knows me, but whatever. Um, but, like, the big theater in my area, and I do live in, like, a big city. Um, the first thing I saw there was Les Miserables. Um, I really liked it. Um, if you could be... Oh my god. Question five. If you could be any female character in a musical, who would you be? So this answer changes a lot, but right now it's Elle Woods and Legally Blonde. Some other things that kind of like, 
I have recently also been really interested in are um, Chris in Carrie the Musical. Ooh, I said Carrie really weirdly, but yeah, Chris. So L, Chris. Mm. Right now I'm doing Chicago and I'm hoping for Velma, but you know, you'll know when you watch this video that if I did actually got that. Oh, and this I think this is pretty much everyone. I would love to be a Skylar sister, obviously, in Hamilton, but um, Vanessa or Nina in In the Heights. So probably Vanessa. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Like, there's a lot of musicals I really like. Um, which male character? So I'm obviously not a dude, but if I could be a dude and play a dude. Emmett in Legally Blonde. I guess that's it. Wizard. Oh my god, Wizard in falsettos. Oh, if I was a dude. Oh my god. That'd be so much fun. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, question seven. Favorite musical song to sing in the shower? Trick question. All of them. But, like, one, I guess so much better from Lily Blonde because it's iconic. Or, I mean, no, yeah, it's definitely so much better. Question eight. Who is my favorite theater actress? Hmm, probably Barrett Wilbert Weed because, I don't know, she's just, like, amazing. Like, I love her characters. I literally just realized, I didn't even mention, I would love to be Veronica in Heathers. But, like, I don't know, I really like her voice and just, like, oh my god. I love her, okay? I love her. Oh, I also like Carrie Hope Fletcher, which is funny because they've played the same roles, but Broadway versus West End, but Carrie Hope Fletcher because, she, like, her YouTube channel is just so much fun to watch, especially the Veronica vlogs. I love the Veronica vlogs. Um, yeah. Actor is Christian Borle. Like, there's not even competition there. Oh, never mind, there is a competition. Andrew Randall's too, which is funny because they're both in falsettos, but um, I don't know, I don't really pay attention. Okay, that sounds bad, but like I don't think that much about my favorite actor because I, my favorite actress is someone like I'd want to be and I'm not a dude. So like, you know, I don't know, man. Uh, favorite film, okay, question 10, favorite film adaptation of a musical? Grease, easily. What do you think is the most overrated musical? I have no idea. Like, I cannot think of a musical that's overrated. I can think of something underrated, but not overrated. Everything that has a lot of hype and I've actually listened to or watched, I really liked. So, I don't think there's really an overrated musical. What musical made you cry? That's question 12, by the way. And mm, pretty much all of them. I cry a lot. Um, Dear Evan Hansen, saw that in person, was bawling my eyeballs out. Um, falsettos, also bawling my eyeballs out. Um, what else made me cry? Um, Les Mis, obviously. Wait. Oh no, Les Mis usually makes me cry, like when I listen to it, or if I like watch a bootleg. But when I saw it in person, I didn't cry because I was wearing mascara. I remember that. I was trying so hard not to cry. Um, I also cried in Legally Blonde, like Legally Blonde. Like when in the song Legally Blonde, I cried. Um, yeah, I actually watched that last night. Um, I cried about everything, everything. Oh, Hamilton, definitely cried there. I think that's it. Like, there's probably more, but that's all I can think of right now. Um, 13, what musical made you laugh? Lots, but um, definitely Legally Blonde, Mean Girls, and Heathers. Especially Mean Girls, because Tina Fey's one-liners are hilarious. Okay, 14, are there any musicals you saw and hated? No. 15, what musical do you want to see as a film? Um, well, apparently there is a In the Heights movie coming out, and I'm so excited for that. And, um, other than that, I don't really think anything, I don't know, I'd like Pro Shots to be in 
like movie theaters, but I don't know if I can think of anything that I'd want made into a movie. Um, question 16, which musicals are you dying to see? Okay, I have a nice long list of these. It's in my notes, so I have to open that. I didn't really read through these questions. Before. Okay, so this is a note called musicals to watch on my computer. It's a very long list. I'm going to go through it and I'm going to say it and then I'm going to speed this clip up a lot and I'm going to try, I'm going to like not read the ones I've already watched. Okay, ready? Go. That's my really long list. Most of those shows are things that either something someone explicitly recommended to me or something that, um, like I was watching like a Catherine Steele video, for example, and like she mentioned a show, especially the ones where she's like talking about audition songs and then they mention a show and I haven't heard of it, so I write it down. Um, that's usually where those things come from. Or like I hear someone mention it in public and I like write it down on my phone. So there's like a hundred or so songs or musicals on that list. I don't think I'm ever gonna watch all of them, but that's fine. <sighs> the question was, which musicals are you dying to see? And I guess I'm not dying to see all of those. I'd really like to see Book of Mormon though. Oh, and Hamilton. I wanna see Hamilton on Broadway so bad because I know that the choreography is really good, you know? And I wanna see it. <laughs> okay. What is your all time favorite musical? All time is easily Les Mis, but like day to day, my favorite changes. Just like, of all time is Les Mis. Question 18, the last question. What would you do if theater didn't exist? Die. Actually, I'd probably just have stayed in, I don't know, rhythmic gymnastics. Never mind. I quit that before I really realized I wanted to do musical theater. I don't know. If theater didn't exist, I'd probably be in something like show choir or dance or something similar. Why did I keep raising my eyebrow? It's kind of fun. Okay. okay, so that's it. I hope to see you guys in my next video. If you liked this video, give it a like. If you didn't, why'd you get this far? If you like my content, then subscribe so you can see more of it. And yeah, that's it. Bye.